My name's Max, and my friends and I are a quarter of the way through sailing around the world on board my 37-foot sailing boat Elixir. So far, we've sailed from the UK all the way to the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. In this episode, we sail north through the region of Guanacaste with a half English, half Swiss crew in search of the legendary wave Ollie's Point, which is located in a national park and only accessible by boat. Captain's log, day one. Hi, my name's Matt. First time sailing aboard Elixir in the Pacific. I've sailed, sailed on board Elixir once before. So far, I lasted about an hour and a half before chundering over the side of the vessel. <laughs> and then I had a nice long nap. Make myself really useful, stayed out of the way. What are you doing down there? I'm trying to get some shadow. It's like the only available shadow spot. But it's uh, surprisingly comfortable. I recommend, honestly. A bit, but I'm alright. We left from the coastal town of Samara. The plan was to sail throughout the day and stop in a new anchorage each night. It was only 70 miles of sailing, but we found that the wind in Costa Rica is generally light and inconsistent, so we decided to break the trip into three day sails. Oh yeah! <laughs> How did you find yourself on this fine ship? Um, I met this sailor when I was working in a bar in Colombia and he invited me to get to know the crew and the boat. And then I went back after seven months, I went back to Switzerland to work um, a bit during winter season. And then winter was over and I wanted to go um, traveling again. So yeah, I asked Max <laughs> if he had any, uh, if he had a spot on his ship. We left Samara this morning. We dropped our Yardis friends there. And we have two new crewmates, Ladina and Matt. And now we're sailing to Tamaringo. Tamarino. Tamagringo. Tamagringo. <laughs> we had pretty nice winds for most of the day which is like unusual for Costa Rica. Yeah, it was nice. What are the new crewmates like? <sighs> they are annoying. <laughs> I'm joking, they are really nice. We're getting to know them. I mean, I'm getting to know them. They are like both friends of Max, but yeah. I'm from Cornwall, just like Max. Found myself on here for the first time in a long time. Different continent. It's been great. Little bit of seasickness. A just a bit. tiny bit. <laughs> what do you reckon, girls? A little bit? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Done a bit of sleeping, and then uh, we get to know the new crewmates. It's been nice. What are you looking forward to the most? Probably getting off the boat and surfing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been really good. I love the dolphins. Yeah. As common that is that is for Max, it's pretty. It's and I've seen them before. It's it's always really nice to see them. Good old tropical pasty light. Look at that. Get a quick shot of that pasty light. It's a lovely job. Oh, look at it. Look at the way the <laughs> colours are on the water. Oh, it'd be glowing like it's got Cornish pasty in the corner. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, right now we're just sailing past Tamarindo. There's actually quite a lot of boats anchored in there. Um, but I think we're going to carry on going. I don't think we should stop. Should we stop here? <laughs> what? We're planning on heading up to Ollie's Point, which is like away from the endless summer, which is an epic surf film, which is why Matt came, because he's a surf photographer and it's like, it's one of those bucket list places. It's always a risk pulling a group of random people together to share a confined space for a prolonged period of time. But thankfully, everyone seemed to be getting along really well and it quickly became clear that this was going to be a really fun trip. Ooh. Oh direction of the hair. Oh You're doing great. <laughs> then some tattooing. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh you oh, did No, oh, that oh, was oh, Right, you're not allowed to do it anymore. Good. Go away. Love. Love. <laughs> wow. Wow. Nice. Like so pretty. <laughs> no, wait, don't move, don't, don't move. move. Nice! <laughs> I don't know what they're doing to me, help! 
Go, go, go. I also want to disclose that Elixir is a dry ship. No drugs or alcohol were consumed on this trip. Everyone on board brought some really good vibes and when you can have this much fun without drinking anything, then what is the point? Although most days were blazing sunshine, it was actually the start of the Central American wet season, and most of the time it was very hot and humid. Elixir has no shower on board, let alone AC, so we made the most of any opportunity to cool off in the sea. Salmon, salmon, salmon! Three, two, one! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> There's not a whole lot to do when you're anchored miles away from the nearest town and generally we woke up early and set sail at sunrise. The wind was very light, yet we still managed to keep Elixir moving through the water without switching the engine on. And unlike the rest of Costa Rica, the coastline offered up a lot of protection from the Pacific groundswells and it seemed like each day we had a whole new bay completely to ourselves. Max, what's going on? Why are you not coming? Because yeah. no fan allowed. No, <laughs> no fan for captain the captain. <laughs> captain, no fan. Right. Still got his nipple tat though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had enough fun for like a whole decade. <laughs> Basically, just, he just has dengue, you know? Or the, well, co we don't know that or the COVID, maybe. I feel like he's just seasick and he doesn't want to admit it. Yeah, yeah. He, he's shy Probably to that. tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a mission. Max wants us to bring him back a coconut. Yeah. Captain No. All right, are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. We're ready. Orders. Yeah. Ready, bro. Ah! What? <laughs> <laughs> what a crew. Okay, let's get on the dinghy. Come on, Steven. Come on, Steve. Don't it humiliate me. Yes, we did it! Stop it! I, I got my phone on me! Stop it! <laughs> what fact to sun cream are you wearing today? What? What? What fact to sun cream? Mario! Like <laughs> yeah. That's it, just film me while I'm struggling with my broken arm. Mario, why did we end up in here? Because <laughs> you can't drive a bloody boat. <laughs> That's better. Well, don't you want to get on the mangroves? Not really. Not really? You can if you want. Do you think they are like snakes and stuff like that? Yeah, no, definitely. Some sort of, definitely something crawling up the thing. There's Lila, aka Layla, because her name's... <laughs> Whoa! 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 Whoa!
<laughs> now don't panic, but there is a crocodile beneath your legs. <laughs> Alright, should I come up too? You go as well. I'll you stay there. here, Mario. <laughs> no, I'll come on as well. I just like, really? want to make sure the boat's okay. Alright. Do you want to go and film her peeing then? Alright, I'm super scared, honestly. What are you scared of? And then an animal comes along and then we have to all run like back to look at these. What if the wood breaks, honestly? Yes, looking good. All right, Maria, tell us, what have we been doing so far? Well, so far we've been rowing up a river. You two have got out and uh, done your shoot for the next month's issue of Vogue. <laughs> Vogue in the mangroves. <laughs> I've been getting bitten by midges while doing that. Well, not midges, small insects. And yeah, we've seen a few little birds. It's been nice, isn't it? Yeah. Now we're drinking some Gatorade. Um, yeah. um, Untied's not sponsored by Gatorade, but it is a good drink. There you go. <laughs> we were electrolyte. <laughs> Next up, we gotta row up with a river. And Ladina's gonna do that without the assist of the engine. Um, yes. Gotta get my workout done. I think we can use Steven, actually. No, Ladina mm -hmm. said she's gonna row up river. Actually, let's try and row up. It's it's a lot calmer, like, right, Leila. Leila, how do you rate these mangroves? Um, 8 out of 10. Oh, why yeah. 8? Tell us why. Bugs. <laughs> I, I will give them 10 if it wasn't for the bugs. So yeah, yeah. Okay. minus 2 points for the bugs. Everything else was pretty perfect. Something I love about sailing is that when you travel anywhere, it's so much more about the journey than actually arriving at a destination. Sure, we had the goal of reaching Ollie's Point, but our route there took us to some really interesting places and the real adventure was in the journey itself and the destination was just a bonus. <laughs> All right, so it's Thursday, the 22nd of May or something. <laughs> Not at all, like not at all, not even close, <laughs> <laughs> or something, <laughs> whatever. We're continuing, continuing our documentaries of sailing through the Pacific Ocean. That's a nice shot with, with a towel and a pair of shorts. Yeah. You're filming this yeah, why are you filming? No, the two of you are in it. Oh, okay. I like, fuck you guys. <laughs> Only because it makes What are those? <laughs> what? <laughs> what we're about to do right now is a photograph of Gannett sitting in the sea. He's just chilling the f out. He's like, oh mate, this is well nice here. Well, it's a bird. It's got wings. <laughs> and sometimes, if you're really lucky, you'll see them fly. Yeah, show us. It's going <laughs> Go, Mario. You gotta relax at the same. Go, push her. When she starts, when she starts. Yeah, I tell you. There she goes, there she goes. <laughs> You're a f***ing a Stop. It's, wait, 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 I need to stop pee. <laughs> what are you doing down there? <laughs> Just hanging out. You the I need something. to focus. <laughs> we, we didn't mean to interrupt anything. Are you getting really? stage fright? No, thing. <laughs> the wind direction has changed, so we want to change our point of sail to running. That means we want like our sail to be like that, so we need to put the pole on. First step, put one of the spinnaker halyards on the pole. Use the halyard that's on the side where you want your, sail, your head sail to be. 
take the pole out, put the jib sheet that's on the side where you want your sail to be on the pole, make sure the lazy sheet is loose. Using the halyard, raise the pole and plug it in the clip on the mast. It should be parallel to the sea. Pull the working sheet in to jibe. There we go. I'm gonna pull out the Genoa on port side because we're going downwind. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you want to like put the halyard first, like that, if you're stupid, like I am, and you drop the pole overboard, you can still get it back. That's the port side sheet. We just like plug it on the pole down there. So what are you guys doing now? So we rising the pole <laughs> up to put it on the mast. Can you let go the yeah. working sheet? So now we have the pole up, everything is ready so we can drive the head sail. The pole should never touch the wires. Nice. But also now the wind's changed. Oh, I'm not scooping it, there you go. So <laughs> we took quite some time to put the pole on and the wind has changed so we have to take it down <laughs> let's go So we're here on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica and we're about to sail to two iconic waves from the surf movie The Endless Summer 2, Witch's Rock and Ollie's Point. Ollie's Point is a right hand point break that breaks down the edge of a headland and it's yeah it's pretty pretty close to the border with Nicaragua. What do you think about Ollie's Point? I guess I will be bored. I don't know how to surf. <laughs> So I will just like read. <laughs> Maybe you can teach me something. Finally. I'm excited too. I don't know if I will be able to surf a lot, but I think we have a good teacher on board. <laughs> yeah, sure. Are you gonna send it at all this point? Can I send it? <laughs> I have an English one. Okay, so that's milk and a little bit of sugar. No? It's like yeah. black tea with milk and sugar, isn't it? A little bit of money I don't cuff. know, some marmite in it? <laughs> a little bit of money cuff in your life. A little What's bit of Erica by that? your side. Oh my gosh. A little bit of green is all you need. Can't remember the rest. <laughs> like this? More? A bit more, yeah. There you go. <laughs> what is it that you've made here? Um, we have on one side the Nutella banana chocolate bars and then we have the peanut butter jelly chocolate bars with bananas on top. We're almost at Ollie's point. Um, how are you finding the journey so far? Really good. Are you enjoying being at the helm? Yes. Yeah. Finally we got some wind. Is it giving you a chance to contemplate life? What's that? Life. Like play life? What's that? Your life. Very short part of the day. What a divine combination. The wave is located in a big sweeping bay. It's buried deep in a national park, so there's no signs of human life, and the surroundings were pretty breathtaking. Woo! We arrived late in the day, the tide was high and the wind was up so there wasn't any surf but it felt amazing to arrive nonetheless in such a beautiful destination and with no one around. So we dropped the hook and settled in for the night behind the shelter of a steep headland. So we just arrived at Olive Point, we're taking the mainsail down and hopefully in a few moments we will be allowed to go for a swim because it's burning today. A 
light offshore. <laughs> light, light offshore. Police point. Let's do it. You ready? Woo! Yeah. All right, what are you guys it's about to do? It's great. It's like just how we imagined it. There's no one out. There's no like... one here. <laughs> it's so crowded. Yeah. So much waves. Like, there's just people here to watch us surf, really. Uh, they've just come to see me and Max. They wanted to watch Untied. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right, go on, mate. <laughs> Let's go. Graceful. Oh. <laughs> Windy. A bit, it looks like it. <laughs> what do you think of Ollie's point? It's boring, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like really. They don't let us surf. Yeah, they don't want us <laughs> to surf. We're just like here watching the boat. She ain't ready for the eighth. He be riding on the wave. I ain't got a lot to say. Mine's heavy, give me space. Time's ready, let me blaze. Spend money, what a waste. Uh, time's money, money pays. You ain't ready for the eighth. She ain't ready for the eighth. I'm out of sorry, let me back and I'm back and it happened. You're ready to blow. I remember giving me to daddy from the street, they left me on my own. Fuck your house, give me the house, got the PR code, I'm leaving mama grown. Then they're ringing up a phone. Then they're ringing up a phone. Time's changed, but mine's made up. I ain't got nine patients right there. <laughs> it's Matt here from Cornwall and Max here from Cornwall. Today we are on the Pacific and we are going to catch some fish to put on our to put a picture on our Tinder profile. Stay tuned. All right guys, I'm going to show you how to do it and like we do it here in Cornwall. <laughs> there are bear fish in here, man. <laughs> Make sure the leash is long enough. <laughs> so basically you need to have a lot of patience uh, when you're fishing. So I like to personally do a little dance when I'm fishing to distract myself. And the problem is like, you really have to be quiet fishing. And I like to quite talk a lot. Oh, there's a fish. Let's oh. see what we've got. Send it. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. We have, what is we it? have here the most <laughs> delicious fish in, this, in the Cornwall seas. It's called the Marmite fish. Oh, it's very good. It's really good. I like to eat it every day for breakfast, lunch, and, and dinner. dinner. Another my main occupation on board Elixir is obviously good content creating. So now I'm gonna film an intro for TikTok. Hi guys, we are sailing on the Pacific now to the epic of the... Shit. Let me do it over. Hi guys, we are now sailing on the Pacific. <laughs> to the epic wave. All right. point and... Witches rock <laughs> from the movie Surfer Paradise. God damn it, Max. Do I need to help you? <laughs> you see that bird over there? This is typical for here. You know, here, we're in Guanacaste at the coast. And it's a lot of wildlife here. <laughs> hey, Mario, can you tell us a bit more about your outfit today? So, I really want to say thank you to Speedo Nicaragua. <laughs> Really? Because, nice. like, they sponsored me and my photographs. Um, basically, it's a really nice fit, and you can really get a nice tan line here. It's very important, you know. And, you know, it's like making my art look really good. Show us. Really good. Can you see it? Yes, we can, we can, definitely. And then I have this really nice, what does he always call it? Like, Towel. It's not a towel, it's you know, not a it, towel. Has, it has a special name. It's a very, very nice fabric. Feels soft on the skin, covers your shoulders from the sun. And then most importantly, 
It's my explorer hat. With this hat, that I've you seen got at many. The Secret Center, right? I got yeah. Yeah. And I've seen many crocodiles with it. <laughs> All right, Max. So tell us about your day. How have you been feeling? I'm feeling seasick, <laughs> but I'm trying to keep it away from the crew. They don't have to know. So I told them I have COVID or the dengue. Have you taken your daily doses of painkillers? Yes. Yep. My daily dose of Marmite, daily dose of tea, and daily dose of Gatorade. Should be fine soon. Hey there, how was the surf? It was everything I could ever want it to be and more. Really? Yeah. Damn. How's your surfing experience so well, far? Are you experienced surfer? Not really. I mean, I've been quite a lot the last two years, I guess. So it's gonna be all right. I'm excited. next episode see you in the next episode thanks for watching another one of our videos it'd be really cool if you could like it and also subscribe to our channel if you want to see more elixir content then we have a patreon with some more videos and podcasts and your subscription would really help with us sustain this journey around the world and continue to make more videos next episode we're going to be continuing our voyage north through central america to mexico where we're going to leave and cross the pacific in a few months so yeah really excited and see you next time